Right, this tree is a mature gala, again, on MM106, so it's a more vigorous tree, but the same principles uh, of pruning will apply. So I'll just talk my way through the pruning of this tree. So in terms of the wood that we have here, we have we want to keep as much as possible as of the two and three year old fruiting wood that's in good light. So this is the, be the best wood that we have available. A branch like all of these ones uh, require really no work. What we have to focus on is what we need to remove. And there's really two categories of, fruit, of wood there. There's extra upright vegetative one-year-old wood that is not fruitful yet. And, and when it's growing strong and upright, it, 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 we know it's going to get too big. So we're best to remove it now. And the other category is, and here's a, a case in point, this is a three-year-old branch, but because it has been so upright, uh, it doesn't have very many fruiting spurs on it, so it's, it's not a fruitful branch. So that's the first one I'm going to remove. And it always makes sense to remove the worst branches first. So let's remove the vegetative upright one-year-olds that are surplus. Like that. So now we're, we're ready just to remove the the, the weak surplus fruiting wood and here we're going to target the underneath branches this is here is shaded and underneath so I'll just remove that completely and again here there's a lot of weak spurs here these are better stronger ones here so I'll remove the underside and the underneath and the same approach with this one so that's that's, I think at this point we have enough, we've selected the best fruiting wood available and this branch is finished. So moving on, here we, we only really have a, just enough uh, fruiting wood and we have a bit of surplus upright one-year-olds. So we'll remove them. This branch again is not very fruitful, but we, we, we want to keep it because there's space for it. So we'll just remove the upright one-year-olds off the top. And another one-year-old there. So that's okay. Coming around this side, we've got upright one-year-olds that would shade and weak wood underneath. A bit more weak wood to remove. And again, that's finished. So you might be a bit hard to see here, but I'll just continue to finish the, the basal branches on the same approach. Mostly I'm just removing uh, shaded weak wood. There's a crowded one there that can go. There's upright one-year-olds that are surplus. And that's down and into the shade, so I'll shorten that back. And here, this, this is uh, surplus really, we've got some good wood below it, so we'll remove that one. And there's an upright one year old here to remove and one in there, and that's the basal tier done. If we look at the upper part of the tree, we see there's been removal of large branches in previous years, that was probably last winter that would have been two or three years ago here and there's replacement wood developing so we want to keep that and the situation with the branches up top are there's good fruity wood on the tops but, but a surplus and shaded wood underneath so I'll remove that So we like to keep our branches long and simple. So that's a side branch growing in the way of this one. So we'll remove that. And here we've got underneath surplus wood. And even, there's probably space for this one, so I'll keep it. 
but this is an old wheat branch and and it's crowded in here so I'll remove this one completely we've got upright one-year-olds remove the underneath remove the underneath and a little bit too much fruiting wood out there so I'll remove part of it that's an upright we remove that so really that's the job done for this side of the tree and to finish it will be just completing that around the whole tree